up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna to be talking about the worst events and tournaments in ray chan legends you need to avoid these like the plague um we want to be saving our precious resources like our energy our gems and our shards we need to save these for the right moment and use them at the right times and we don't want to be wasting them on trashy tournaments and events so the first one dungeon divers Dungeon Divers is the worst. Um, like, you know, back in the day, I'm sure it used to be like 2.5K, maybe 3K at a push. And there was decent rewards up for grabs. Now they're telling me that I need to do 5,000, like, you know, 5,000 points to get an epic skill tome. Are they for real? What the fuck? This is just like the absolute epitome of just terribleness. It is shocking that they think that's good. Um, that is the amount of energy and gems that you'd have to burn to get that epic skill tome is just not worth it. Sometimes they put good rewards up here, but for free to play, you're always going to be around the 2k to 3k mark because it's just not worth the investment. If there wasn't a fusion going on right now, I wouldn't even go for that gem or that ancient shard. It's just not worth it. I'd definitely pick up that mortal soul stone because that's pretty solid and it's pretty easy to get. Otherwise, they're just putting up trash and it's just not worth it at all. Summon Rush, equally as bad as Dungeon Divers, if not worse. We come all the way down to 8,100. So we are getting three legendary skill tomes and a mythical st uh, skill tome up for grabs. I mean, there's a lot of rewards on the way as well, but it is just so expensive. 405 Ancients. As free to play, I think that's about four, five months of saving. If you just done like two X's, you would pick up more legendary skill champion. Uh, sorry, legendary skill tomes. You would get more legendary champions and build up your pool faster. I just don't see the benefit of it. You would definitely losing out. If like if I was to pull for this ten X, I would definitely lose out. You know, I maybe get the champion, but I'm definitely losing out a lot of books. Again, I'd always rather prioritize getting a top tier legendary champion over getting these skill tomes um obviously skill tomes are good and you do need them to sort of level up your champions but if you're smart with them you know you're only going to put them on your best champions not every legendary needs to be fully booked out to do their job so you can be smart with them uh but yeah a total waste of resources in my opinion naturally while we're talking about sun rush let's talk about the hero path events they are just so overcomplicated. Like, obviously, it's not hard to, you know, follow a line down and choose the best path. That is a piece of piss. But the maths, the fucking maths that you have to do for it is so over the top. They really need to simplify it down. And instead of like 100K or 500K, why can't it just be 5K of maths? Just make it easier. And even though I hate the hero path events, sometimes you do just have to do them because they will put up a very juicy awakening or champion, like a legendary champion guaranteed up for grabs. So you kind of have to do them sometimes. But otherwise, again, I just avoid them. They are usually like a massive burn of resources, unless they are putting up like God tier, five star awakening, perfect souls. It's a skip from me. Um, actually, we will praise, we have to praise Artifact Enhancement event. This has to be one of the best. It's so easy to do. We get to level up our gear. Um, it's not too expensive on the silver if you know what you're doing. You usually will get like three lots of energy that we can pick up as well, which is always nice. And they do put up some decent rewards. Like here, we've got Mortal Soul Stone, got that Chaos Dust, and some gems as well. Some good stuff going on here. So yeah, Artifact Events, of course, you're always doing it. And we've got to praise them for when they do stuff right. I know, it really happens though. Spider tournament. This is like the, one of the best. Like we're all, we, you know, we're getting silver. Um, we're getting accessories, and um, there's so many faction now as well. Like, is it 12, 13, something like that? I think it's 13 factions now. So many factions that you know you have to farm spider a lot to get all those accessories for all your champions. So spider tournament always doing it. If you're early game, of course you want to do every single tournament, but 
when you come late game, I do not do Fire Knight. I don't do Dragon. I don't do um, Ice Golem anymore unless it's a triple event like triple savage triple speed and um, triple oh, i guess regen if you need it i don't need regen anymore um triple hex triple provoke stuff like that but otherwise it's just a hard skip there's no point i'd rather do phantom shogun or sand devil and just strengthen up my gear um rather than just wasting it on tournaments where you're not really getting a lot from it so yeah that's a hard skip for me Classic Arena, Tag Arena, easy peasy. You know, of course you do them. <laughs> there's, there's no, you don't even have to talk about it. Don't even have to talk about it. Sand Devil, though, oh, that's a tricky one. Sand Devil can be really good and they do put some good rewards up. But again, it can be very costly on the energy and you might have to sacrifice one tournament to do this one instead. And of course, you're only going to do Sand Devil if you're hitting 25 and your end game otherwise is kind of pointless. Um, champion training events. These are actually the worst in the game. And this can be kind of controversial because it's taken me so long to figure this out. And I think so many people like myself, you just get sucked into it. You sort of do every single one. And they are the worst for burning your energy. And we all get baited by that legendary skill tome. And it's better not to do it. So um, champion training tournament events, don't use your skill tomes on this. Don't use, like, do not ascend your champions now. You want to save your skill tomes and ascending champions for personal rewards CVC. My clan has won every single personal reward CVC for two years apart from two. That is insane. That is crazy, crazy good. So, yeah, definitely want to save your skill tomes, your uh, champion ascensions for CVC personal rewards. Do not burn them in this tournament. Champion training event as well is equally just as bad because it just sucks up so many resources. So by skipping that, you can build up loads of gems. You can build up loads of energy resources and use that in CVC personal rewards. Make sure that you win it. Hit that 400k mark. Otherwise, it's just a waste. Um, and I guess the only thing I will say, though, is you do have to do one every single month. Um, if we come to this quest here, there's that monthly one where you have to do 500 campaign battles. So if if that wasn't there, I would never do champion training events or tournaments because it's just such a huge waste. Um, and that skill tome is just not worth it. It is just better. It is just so much better to win CVC and not just get sucked into this cycle, just doing champion training tournaments. Of course, like early game, you have to do this for like the first year. But after that, just leave it alone. There's no need to do it anymore. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I miss anything? But I hope you enjoyed this one. Hope this helps you guys learn how to play the game, become an absolute beast. Uh, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.